The Judgment Day try and be the bloodline. Triple H to continue pushing WWE's most underrated star after current feud. Sami Zayn in trouble after Raw segment. WWE star opens up on backstage reaction to brutal past. Where's the Rock? Roman Reigns family set to make EEW debut. Goldberg returns to challenge Roman Reigns. The bloodline done. Let's jump right into it. Triple H to continue pushing WWE's most underrated star after current feud. Triple H has been booking Gunther strongly since day one. Back in NXT UK, the ring general was one of the greatest NXT UK champions of all time. In around two weeks, he will become the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. Since becoming the intercontinental champion, Gunther has taken the belt to another level. The ring general has dominated all his opponents and has been unbeaten since joining the main roster. However, this past Monday night, a champ lost his first ever match to Chad Gable by a countout. Chad Gable and the Alpha Academy and they have been quite over with the fans for months now. Their entertaining segments, matches, and smooth inclusion of Maxine have impressed all. While Gable as a team player is very good, every pro wrestling fan is aware of how good he is as a singles wrestler. The former Olympian got his chance this past Monday against Gunther. He put on a hell of a match, becoming the first man to beat Gunther by countout. The match was so good and so highly anticipated that it garnered 1.8 million viewers and a 0.56 rating in the key demo. With his popularity, Triple H can surely smell money in this feud. The King of Kings could cash in on on this as a long-term storyline that could end at the Survivor Series or Royal Rumble, if done well, even at the biggest WWE event of all time. Triple H could also make Gable the first one to defeat the ring general clean and take his title. Edge wrestled his final match on SmackDown this past Friday. As per his contract, this was his last match for the company. The rated R superstar hasn't informed much about his future. However, according to a former superstar, Edge, he could betray Triple H and go to AEW. Speaking on the Busted Open podcast, Bully Ray spoke about the chances of the former world champion and going to AEW. The WWE Hall of Famer feels Tony Khan could lure Edge in with his money. If this is Edge's last match in WWE, if his contract is expiring, if he is done, do you think Tony Khan has the money to lure Edge over to AEW? Without a doubt, another key reason for Edge to leave Triple H and go over to the rivals could be his real-life friend Christian. The Rated R Superstar and Captain Charisma are childhood friends. Both superstars are also one of the most popular tag teams in history, and their reunion will take AEW to another level. Sami Zayn in trouble after Raw segment. Former WWE head writer Vince Russo feels Sami Zayn could be in trouble after the opening segment of the latest episode of Raw. Zayn opened Raw this week in front of his hometown crowd. He stood in the ring as the fans kept chanting for him. This went on for a while before Sami started his promo. However, this was cut short by Judgment Day interrupting him. On this week's Legion of Raw, Vince Russo claimed that WWE producer Bruce Pritchard may have been irritated with how the segment panned out and sent Judgment Day out even before Sami Zayn could get in a few words. Bro, that's exactly why they hit Judgment Day music before he said anything. That's exactly why. You give this guy this grand entrance and meanwhile he doesn't cut a promo. I'm telling you, Bruce Pritchard is sitting at the gorilla position and he's saying, I don't give a crap that Sammy is from Quebec. And Sammy is letting them go on and on while casual fans are changing the channel because nothing's happening. Russo detailed that if Vince McMahon was in the back, he would have lost it. He claimed that Sammy was lucky because Meek Man wasn't in the gorilla position. Thank God Vince wasn't in the back. Oh my God, if Vince was in the back, forget about it. He's lucky Vince wasn't there. Even Pritchard was, okay bro enough, send Judgment Day and that's exactly what happened. Just as the Judgment Day surrounded the ring, Sami Zayn informed them that he had some backup. Kevin Owens then made his return and cleaned the house. While Judgment Day was on the retreat, KO issued a challenge to face any two members of the faction in a tag team match later in the night. The tag team match got underway but soon ended in disqualification after Owens decked Balor with the money in the bank briefcase. Later Cody Rhodes joined the undisputed tag team champions to turn it into a six-man tag team matchup. The team of Cody, Kevin, Kevin and Sammy triumphed over Judgment Day once again after Dominic Mysterio took the pin. Do you think WWE will reprimand Sami Zayn for the opening segment? Let us know in the comments section below. The MBV star opens up on backstage reaction to Brutal Path. WWE has a star-studded roster comprising performers from different pro wrestling backgrounds. NXT's Joe Gacy recently opened up about the backstage reaction to his past work before he joined the Stanford-based promotion. The 36-year-old star is the leader of Schism in NXT. But before joining WWE in 2020, Gacy performed in CZW, Combat Zone Wrestling, where he had some of the most brutal matches of his career. The Delaware-based promotion booked Gacy in bouts reminiscent of the hardcore matches in ECW. On a recent episode of the Out of Character podcast, Joe Gacy mentioned that he used to enjoy his brutal matches in CZW because he was fond of the hardcore wrestling style. Before I got to CZW, I was a big CZW fan and growing up an ECW fan, I was like, yeah, I want to go out there and I want to do this and this and prove that I belong in hardcore wrestling. So there was a point where I really wanted to go out there and try to do the most brutal stuff that I could. Now part of me is kind of happy I don't do that anymore, but it was fun while I did it. Gacy further said that his WWE colleagues were 
shocked to see clips of some of his barbaric matches in combat zone wrestling. He added that his fellow performers jokingly teased him after watching his hard-hitting bouts and wanted him to compete in more such contests. In the same podcast, Joe Gacy said he missed doing the physical in-ring stuff he did in CZW. He also addressed the possibility of engaging in such matches again. I would say that if there was a time in your career that you've done that, there is maybe a little bit inside of you that does miss it. I don't want to go back and do all the things I have done again, but I wouldn't mind dabbling in some stuff again if the opportunity arose. The up-and-coming star is trying to establish himself as a permanent fixture in NXT's main event scene. It will be interesting to see if he can capture a major championship soon. What do you think about Joe Gacy's run in WWE NXT? Let us know in the comments section below. Where's The Rock? The Rock's eldest daughter Ava was kidnapped recently during a WWE show, and fans have now called for the legend to return. The star ended up being kidnapped during WWE NXT. After losing her match to Ivy Niles this week, she was dragged out by two schism followers wearing masks. Unfortunately, during a backstage promo where it appeared that she was about to send a message to Nile, the two men unmasked themselves to reveal they were none other than the Creed brothers. While the two have lost a loser leaves NXT match to leave the brand, it appears that they are back and are using anything to force the schism to give them the bout they want, including kidnapping Ava. The WWE Universe has since reacted to the moment, with several fans questioning NXT and their habit of having stars kidnapped. This is not the first kidnapping the show has portrayed. Another fan asked Ava to be brought up to the main roster so she could join the bloodline, while a few questioned the creeds if they knew how many family members she had as backup. Finally, the question on everyone's mind was voiced with The Rock being called for by the fans to come and rescue his daughter. With the creeds demanding a steel cage match, it will be interesting to see how that plays out. The Rock returning seems unlikely, but it remains to be seen if he responds on social media. Do you want The Rock to return to rescue his daughter? Sound off in the comments section below. Roman Reigns' family set to make AEW debut. Roman Reigns' family has constantly produced talented wrestlers throughout the sport's history. Most landed in WWE, while some stars found a home on the independent scene. However, the latest NOE member to join the scene may already be eyeing AEW. Zilla Fatu, son of Umaga, is the latest person from Roman Reigns' family who debuted in wrestling. He got fans buzzing after tweeting a cryptic post tagging AEW and his cousin, Jacob Fatu. The son of the late Umaga has seemingly hinted that he and the major league wrestling star could make an appearance at the Jacksonville-based promotion soon. While this could be a possibility as several wrestlers appeared on the brand even just for one-time events, there's also a possibility he's only teasing fans. Zilla only began wrestling in December last year under Booker T's reality of wrestling promotion and successfully debuted this July. While Jacob has been wrestling longer since 2012, the newly debuted star still needs more experience before stepping into bigger stages. Additionally, Zilla stated that he was incredibly nervous after his initial wrestling debut. Although nothing happened out of the ordinary, he felt he could do better. The biggest story in wrestling today is the bloodline, which involves the tribal chief, the Usos, and Solo Sokoa. At the moment, Jay has left WWE after Jimmy betrayed him, while Roman and Solo remain a team. Behind all this drama, the 22-year-old has already made his pick. Zilla Fatu revealed that he was Team Jay. He disapproved of how Roman Reigns disrespected the Usos, but still, they are family at the end of the day and go through rough patches. I got Jay. Team Jay. I'm more built on respect and loyalty, so that's kind of going on. Roman disrespected Jay and Jimmy, but we all family at the end of the day. All family families have hiccups, ups, and downs. Stay tuned, it's gonna get crazy. Multiple Inouye family members have claimed success in the Stanford-based promotion over the years. Unsurprisingly, Zilla Fatu is also interested in joining his cousins in the promotion. It remains to be seen whether Zilla will debut in AEW, join Roman Reigns and his cousins, or elsewhere. For now, fans should look out for the latest Inouye star. Fatu stated that if added to the bloodline Sage, he would come for the birthright of the table, rather than focus on fighting for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Goldberg returns to challenge Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has been on a WWE hiatus since his last appearance on SmackDown on August 11, 2023, when Jay Uso announced leaving WWE. Additionally, the Tribal Chief is not being promoted for any upcoming premium live events, signaling a potential absence for the coming months. As Jay Uso is embroiled in a feud with Jimmy Uso, there's speculation that Goldberg might return to the company to challenge the reigning undisputed WWE Universal Champion. This speculation gained traction following a recent comment made by Goldberg on WWE. WWE's official Instagram account. The post asked fans to weigh in on who they believe had the best spear finishing move. Goldberg, also known for his spear, left a comment asserting me, suggesting his claim to possess the most impactful execution of the move. This has led fans to speculate that the WWE Hall of Famer might have another match left in store for him within the Stanford-based promotion. Another compelling reason for Goldberg's potential return to the ring could be that he is contemplating his final match in his storied career. Adding to the intrigue, Roman Reigns and Goldberg share a significant history, with the 
the former defeating the Hall of Famer at Elimination Chamber 2022, which took place in Saudi Arabia. As WWE approaches another Saudi Arabia event, the likelihood of Goldberg's return grows stronger. These shows often prioritize featuring legendary stars, making the comeback of the WWE Hall of Famer entirely plausible. Additionally, the fact that Tribal Chief Roman Reigns has previously participated in Saudi Arabia increases the chances of his involvement in this year's event. If Roman Reigns is set to defend his championship at the upcoming Saudi Arabia show, it makes sense that the company would seek a legendary superstar to challenge him. Given that Reigns has faced Brock Lesnar multiple times, Goldberg stands out as a viable option for this year's Saudi Arabia event. As previously mentioned, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, is not currently listed for participation in upcoming premium live events such as Payback, Fastlane, and even WWE's return to India after a six-year hiatus. Despite his absence from the promotion's announced lineup, Reigns will likely appear at Survivor Series. The rationale behind this speculation lies in his status as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Survivor Series, unlike being a war game show, traditionally showcases the promotion's main champion, making it a probable setting for Reigns' match. It's important to note that the Saudi Arabia event scheduled later this year is another potential platform for his return. However, in the scenario where the tribal chief returns to WWE but doesn't take part in premium live events, it's plausible that his official in-ring return could be reserved for next year's Royal Rumble. The Bloodline Done Roman Reigns slowly and steadily built up the bloodline in WWE over the course of two years for his own personal vanity. Nearly every title match of the Tribal Chief's monumental run has involved some interference by his family members. In 2023, the Bloodline Civil War at Money in the Bank signaled the end is nigh for Reigns' faction. While Jimmy Uso costing Jey Uso did not translate to the former's return to the group, Solo Sikoa and Paul Heyman are still on the undisputed WWE Universal Champion's side. Where does Roman Reigns go from here? There are rumors of Jey Uso getting another shot at the Tribal Chief's title. But what about after that? Will there be new members added to the bloodline? The polarizing reaction to that question has been interesting, so we have collected a couple of them. New potential members include Zilla Fatu, who was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Booker T in Reality of Wrestling. Two other major players considered were Impact Wrestling star and Jimmy Uso's wife, Trinity Fatu, and Major League Wrestling star Jacob Fatu. A few noted that Tribal Combat was a good opportunity to introduce the Simone family to WWE TV, but now the train has left the station. The bout between Roman Reigns and Jay Uso at the biggest party of the summer was an average affair, according to many. No, it's time to wrap this show. One Twitter user echoed the sentiment of the section of the fan base. Be that as it may, WWE fans are still looking forward to Jacob Fadu potentially making the move to the global juggernaut. Many believe the independent Simone wrestler is better off either as a tag team with Solo Sokol or with a vendetta against Roman Reigns. His loss to the head of the table at WWE SummerSlam may have been too much to handle, but Jay Uso felt his twin brother's betrayal during tribal combat as the final nail in the coffin. Main event, Jay Uso announced two weeks ago that he has quit the blue brand and the company altogether. Furthermore, he was spotted with Jacob Fatu on social media. The photo was shared by MLW Lee star Juicy Finna. South Pacific Savages been Uso approved, wrote Finna. It seems a section of the viewers feel the bloodline saga has run its course. Moreover, there are fans of the American nightmare Cody Rhodes who are still rooting for him to capture the biggest prize in the company. What are your thoughts on Jacob Fatu or even Zilla Fatu or any other member of the Samoan family joining the bloodline on television down the line? Sound off in the comments section below. The Judgment Day Try and Be the Bloodline WWE fans have expressed exhaustion with the booking decision on Monday Night Raw that has seen the Judgment Day lock horns with Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Cody Rhodes or Seth Rollins in the main event. Despite the growing conflict between Finn Balor and Mr. Money in the Bank, Damian Priest, the heel faction remains united in their ongoing feuds with the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions and the American Nightmare. Kevin Owens returned on Monday Night Raw this week, reuniting with his best friend and tag team partner in front of their home crowd in Quebec Canada. The champions were booked for a tag team match in the show's main event. However, KO used the MITB briefcase to hit Finn Balor, leading to the Judgment Day's victory via disqualification. The group then unleashed a brutal attack on KO and Zayn, prompting Cody Rhodes to run interference. This led to a six-man tag team bout where Rhodes teamed up with Owens and Zayn to defeat the Judgment Day's Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and Dominic Mysterio. While the WWE Universe appreciated the entertaining contest and the superstars involved, they criticized the creator's repetitive booking. Benny noted that the Judgment Day had been involved in the opening and closing segments of the show too frequently. Some made light of the situation by comparing the Judgment Day to Roman Reigns' The Bloodline, while others stated that they were tired of watching the same matches every week. The match ended with Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens taking turns hitting Dominic Mysterio with their respective finishers before pinning the NXT North American champion to secure the win. Zayn took the microphone and said, better luck next time as the Judgment Day licked their wounds following the loss. The conflict between Finn Balor and Damian Priest has caused many to believe 
believe that the Judgment Day is headed towards an implosion. However, the latest reports indicate WWE's other plans for the heel faction. The creative team is seemingly not planning to split up the Raw stable. The report mentioned that there were no plans for the Judgment Day superstars to go their separate ways for the time being. There are also speculations that the heel group will eventually face the team of Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Cody Rhodes in a War Games match at Survivor Series 2023. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you